On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at the Bontrager Ballista Cycling Shoes. These are a road bike style cycling shoe, and we're going to go into some of the features and design of these shoes, as well as find out exactly what they weigh. But before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this into the future. So taking a look at these Bontrager Ballista shoes, these are actually some very nice looking, uh, very lightweight carbon sold road shoes from Bontrager and they've got a heck of a look to them. So you know what, what Bontrager basically claims these shoes to be is a shoe set up for uh, an everyday rider that's really concerned and looking for speed and this shoe is certainly going to do that. Now how they're going to go about doing that comes from a few different things. Now the, uh, the most important piece is going to be the look of it. So this shoe is going to be very aerodynamic, very fast. This matches up with the rest of their Ballista line where they try to make a clean profile to their products, be able to make them operate and work faster in the real world environment. And another place where it comes in to be a high performance shoe is actually going to be the sole. So you can see this particular sole is a flex index of 12. Now, depending on size, the stiffness index is going to be anywhere from 12 to 14 on Bontrager scale. And what that really just means is this OCLV carbon fiber sole is going to be very stiff. Now, if you look through, the sole design is quite good looking. It's got rubberized toe uh, right there. And then the heel pad is actually replaceable. And I like to see these replaceable heel pads because that's going to mean that the shoe's not going to just wear out by wearing it. And I, you know, it's silly when, when uh, shoe manufacturers do that. Now, inside of the shoe, you can see that it's going to have their cat's tongue style material. This is a heel retaining material here. It uh, is smooth in one direction and uh, very grippy in the other direction. And that's going to help keep your heel in the heel box here. Up front, the toe box uh, and width of the shoe is fairly generous. It's not a high volume shoe, but it's not uh, a super narrow shoe either. So you're probably going to be comfortable in it. And then the material on the outside of the shoe, uh, they call it their fused upper for lightweight construction. But what that really means is a lot of this stuff is actually uh, glued together or fused together uh, instead of being sewn. And it actually makes for a much nicer feel on the inside of the shoe because you have less ridges there. Now, of course, you can actually see this retaining material. This is actually a stiffer material to hold the heel cup together. It also gives way to the cable routing for the BOA system. Now that's uh, kind of one of the nice things about this. BOA's been on a lot of shoes, it's been on Bontrager for a while, but uh, you pull out and that's going to just allow it to open right up. You can push right back in and turn righty tighty and the shoe will snug up. Now the magic to BOA is the BOA system is gonna be very, very even pressure across top of your foot. So you're not gonna get hot spots. It's easy to adjust while you're riding. You don't have to pull over to adjust laces or Velcro or things like that. And then the BOA system is warranted lifetime. So BOA is a separate brand from Bontrager. Uh, they're on all sorts of equipment, everything from uh, wakeboard and snowboard uh, boots all the way up to cycling shoes and golf shoes. So it's, uh, it's a pretty proven product and very durable. Now let's go ahead and find out what these weigh. That's going to be the magic here is Bontrager does claim these shoes uh, to be pretty, pretty lightweight. So we'll go ahead and move these aside. We'll place that, uh, that scale into the center. And when we put on a pair of shoes, now uh, I should mention these shoes are a size 45 and a half and they come in at a very reasonable 502 grams for the weight. So thanks for watching this video on the Bontrager Ballista shoes. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this. And then leave a thumbs up. It lets me know you enjoyed the video.